Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I haven't really made a video in like a year, so a little rusty. So I just moved from the suburbs of Pittsburgh into downtown Pittsburgh, the South Side Works specifically, and I love it. A quick disclaimer, a lot of this stuff is thrifted or has been handed down to me. So I'll try to tell you guys um, prices and stuff so you can find something similar and where I got it. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of this stuff has been from Facebook Marketplace. People have made it and stuff, so. But all of that shows that I just wanted to make this video to kind of show people that you can furnish an apartment and still have it look really cute without having to spend a fortune on furniture and decor. So thanks for watching and here we go. So starting off the tour, this is just the front entryway. I have a little box for my recycling and something to hold my keys. I got that from Target. And one of the best parts about this apartment is all of the storage. So this is one giant closet and I use all of it for literally just random storage. So from the main entrance, you have the view of the family room and the kitchen. So the kitchen is the first thing that comes up and this granite countertop, it rolls. It actually came with the apartment. It's one of the only things that came with it. So that's what the kitchen looks like overall. And this actually comes out with all of my silverware and utensils. This little utensil holder is from Bed Bath & Beyond and all of these utensils are from Bed Bath & Beyond. Over here, we have all of my little appliances that I bought. This Keurig is amazing. I will link it below. It's one of my favorite apartment purchases. Um, right above my coffee is all the stuff that I would need for the coffee. Up there I just used some garland that I got on sale at Michael's and little baskets that I thrifted. I don't know if people show their fridges, but mine is so organized that I wanted to show it off of all of my stuff. So this is just my fridge. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing too special, I just organized it and it's making me really happy. Uh, these drinks, had some of them last night. Pretty bomb. And yeah, that's it. That's my fridge. Nothing too special, but I organized it so I just thought I'd show. This is actually one of the cooler things about the apartment. The previous tenants um, have put in this thing. Automatically puts the blinds down. So moving on to the main area from the kitchen. This is my little living room. So I guess first we'll go towards the mirror. I got this mirror, uh, I thrifted it for $100. I really wanted the Primrose mirror from Anthropology, but obviously very expensive. So I wanted to find a better alternative. So this is the mirror that I got and I love it so much. It is literally perfection. This chair was also thrifted. Um, I think it was like $100. It's bamboo, faux fur. Um, yeah, at my local thrift shop. So my mom gave me that basket for my blankets. And moving on to here, I have like this little sitting area um, for like extra seating because it faces the TV. Here we have the living room area. So first we have my little um, entertainment center. This TV stand is from Target. Um, this was one of the things I did spend money on and I really love it. So I'm happy that I did. Um, disclaimer, terrible, terrible to build. Took my mom and I like two hours. 
my little lampshades. Uh, they were $30 from Walmart. Honestly, I love them. It's really great indirect light, as my boyfriend would say. Um, <laughs> it kind of gives the whole room a glowy feel, so. Over here we have my chair that my Nana gave me. That's the original cushions that came on it. So this is actually bamboo, and she had painted over it with white, but I distressed it, and I wanted to show the original bamboo coloring for anyone who was wondering about this lovely velvet couch. I thrifted it from a place called Final Cut. It is pretty much a warehouse of anthropology, free people, and some other ones of their overstock furniture or their damaged furniture. So this couch was originally $2,600 and I got it for $300. So next, moving on, is this beautiful table. Again, thrifted. I got it off of uh, Facebook Marketplace, I think. The people who gave it to me originally made it. It looks pretty handmade. I'm honestly not quite sure. My coffee table book I got from Anthro. My coasters are from Target. They were, I wanna say like $3.99. And my most recent find has been this amazing wicker seat. So this wicker seat was $30 at Goodwill. It is super intricate. You can't really see it, but it's like multi-layered. An amazing thrift find. Then over here we have this little shelf that I'm obsessed with. My boyfriend made it for me. He saw it on Pinterest, I wanna say, and was like, hey, I'm gonna make this for your new apartment. And I filled it up with kind of little decor. I think it's like a little, Perfect little nook over there. And overall, my favorite thing about this apartment is the view. So it is a super gloomy day in Pittsburgh. I could put in some shots of it at night. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. I'll put in some sunset shots because this whole apartment just glows from all of the the light. This little dining area slash my work from home space. The story of these chairs. They were from Facebook Marketplace. They were actually in a coffee shop at one point that had to close due to Corona. I went to the coffee shop before. It was called The Loveliest in Pittsburgh. I think they are leather, brass, and bamboo. They were a little bit over $100 each, but definitely worth it. This table is just from Target. So this is something that my mom wanted to do special for me for my new apartment. This shelf is from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. My mom propagated most of them for me. So this is my little bonsai. Literally got it from Ikea. Um, I think it's super cute because it looks like two people hugging. So here we have basil, and these are all in reused mason jars. We love a good upcycle. Um, my mom wanted to reuse a bunch of stuff that's literally an old fishbowl. And these labels are just from Amazon. I can link those down below. We have oregano, basil, mint, and thyme. Mint is flourishing. I'm sure it's gonna get even bigger. They get freaking huge. And then these are my strawberries. Super thankful that my mom was able to get that for me. I think the shelf was $70, um, but it was a moving gift from my mom, and I really love it. So one of the coolest things about this apartment is the open concept. It is completely open in like one room, pretty much. So here's my bedroom. Another <laughs> amazing find that I guess it's not like a thrift, but it's a uh, cheaper find. So this wall hanging macrame, I got from Aldi, which is a grocery store. Um, <laughs> they have like super, super cheap stuff. It was originally three different pieces and I glued them all together for a total cost of $30. This little cute plant pillow was from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on sale. 
this window is amazing. It's literally like my favorite thing, especially during sunset. So if you look over here, I have um, this little dresser from my Nana, her old furniture from her house, this lamp, no idea where it's from, it's from my sorority floor. So this side um, consists of my dresser, which has all my clothes in it. Thanks Nana <laughs> for that dresser, it was completely free, could definitely find a thrifted thing like that, uh, was not the original color we painted. Here is another one of my prized thrift finds. It was originally black and I painted it gold, thrifted it for about $30. It's so cute. It's a great mirror for taking selfies or literally just getting ready in the morning and looking at your outfit. Yeah, I'm in love with it. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Looks like it could be from Anthro and for literally like $200 less than it would be. This shelf, I think it's rattan or bamboo. It was on Facebook Marketplace. I just filled it with a bunch of little cute pictures of me and my boyfriend and my friends, little books. I got all of those books from um, Goodwill across the street from me. This is a little wall hanging thing. I got the inspo from Anthropology Chandeliers. There's no lighting fixture in it whatsoever. I actually made this. It probably cost me 30 bucks overall. It's a cute little wall addition to my room. This is a shelf from my boyfriend. He made it for me. Last year, it's in the same color as the shelf outside. Yeah, and then these are little flowers that he's gotten me for little holidays over the past couple years, months, all that stuff. Yeah, so this is my little, this is my cozy room. I love it. Then right off my room, you have my closet. Anyone who knows me knows I have a lot of clothes. Uh, again, a lot of the times thrifted. Uh, those are my shoes on the bottom that I wear to like run out, not those ones over there. Over top we have my winter shoes and ones that are for going out or for more dressy occasions. I have a little stool to get up there. Again, if you could not tell, a lot of stuff is thrifted and above I have my little purses. I have to fill the top up. <laughs> this is my little hallway into the main room over here. I just painted that. It's nothing <laughs> too crazy. I was literally trying to do something completely different and that's where it went, but it matched my vibes, so whatever. This is a little closet off of the bedroom here. So this is the last part. It's the bathroom. There's nothing really too grand about the bathroom. It's really awesome. It has a washer and dryer in unit. Love that so much. If you look over here, it's pretty much just storage that's like open. I put my makeup and stuff in it. So this is my sink. Big ass mirror. Love it. So this is nice for getting ready in the morning. I don't really know what to say about it. It has a little medicine cabinet too. Um, don't really have anything in it except for toothbrushes. Here is my little toilet area. I don't know. I had that canvas hung up in my old room. These towels are from Ikea. Super cute. They're like um, little multicolored towels. A uh, little tan and white. My little robe. So then I have this bath mat. Um, I can't remember where I got it, but I will link it below. Again, shout out Nana. Thanks for the shower curtain. The shower is honestly nothing too extravagant because it's just me. So I just have like my little shampoo and literally nothing. Uh, but it is nice, it has two heads. So it's like a little rain shower head and a little handheld thing if you want it. And there's like this little backrest for the tub. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys liked my apartment tour video. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, leave a comment, like it, subscribe. So I'm looking forward to updating this YouTube channel a little bit if people want to see more stuff like going thrifting with me or affordable fashion finds. That's something that I would definitely love to do. So let me know if you want to see any of that. and. If you want to look at my past videos, I spent last summer in LA and got to make 
a bunch of really cool videos some of them were thrifting so yeah if you want to check them out i hope you all have an amazing week and i will see you later